Okay, hey guys, today I have Meizu M3 Note, which is a really old one from 2015, but now it's 2022 and this Meizu is still good phone to use right now if you have it or if you want something really cheap for 50 bucks, that's a really nice phone. <coughs> so basically I updated it to Flyme 6. Uh, it's by default now it's Flyme 7 actually and Android Android 7 and by default it was Android 5 so basically that's a really good phone so now I'm going to update it to Android 7 uh, I already downloaded Android 7 Flyme 7 and here is Flyme 6 Android 5 so really old so you need to enter Flyme that uh, Flyme flying.com and it's everything's in Chinese of course but you see uh, uh, ah okay it's not even flying 6 it's a version 635 so it was updated in 2025 later later and phone was uh, was on the market so basically uh, here we have Android N or Android 7 so that's why I want to download it because Android 5 many apps you cannot install so here you see uh, I update that uh, ZAP so let's click update and uh, wait uh, and wait how it will look like and whether this phone still good option right now it's only Chinese and English language so no some other languages but still it's enough uh, because it's uh, uh, firmware for Chinese market and it's still enough uh, for now to use basically you can you can install Google you can install some other apps here basically this phone is still working fine even right now it has metal uh, cover it has 3 gigabytes of uh, RAM it has uh, 32 gigabytes of memory plus you can insert micro SD card so it's in here inside so you can also let's check let's open so remember it's two sim cards plus micro sd ah no okay actually it's uh, only one sim card or micro sd or two sim cards but actually there are many life hacks how you can avoid it and make two sim cards plus uh, micro cd so basically it's here from the right side it's just uh, bottoms and from the top it's 3.5 millimeters that uh, from down you have uh, micro usb plus dynamic uh, it's not stereo sound so it's for sound 15 it was good sound but for now it's not that good this this phone was uh, uh, was uh, the, the cost of this phone was around 200 bucks and back to sound 15 but actually uh, you should remember that this phone is for chinese market not from uh, not for the international market and it's not recommended to install uh, this uh, software this uh, 635 uh, update of Lime uh, to international version so you can get some troubles I don't really recommend you the camera is 13 megapixels still uh, recording full HD the front camera also only like around 10, uh, 8 megapixels I remember but still it's fine good phone you have full HD recording you have 3 gigabytes of RAM and still the screen is 5.5 inch IPS of course so you have uh, fingerprint sensor built in the bottom but still look after five years it looks really good so you have second microphone here and this uh, you have some scratches but metal looks like brand new even after five years of usage so in the case it also looks fine so basically it's um, it's a really good device uh, for even right now in 2022 to buy it for 50 bucks let's say yeah you can found used one in in your market or, or you can order from china from aliexpress for the same price so it's turning on so it's still a flyme 6 but android will be updated uh, as i mentioned there are limitation languages only english and chinese uh, but still so i think uh, it's also 
it's also good to install G apps here so all these Google Play services but for now I think I will install Huawei market or Meizu market basically it will consume less resources and phone should work better also the battery yeah Google Play services consume much more battery on this old phones Meizu old phones so basically I will use it uh, without them for now but let's see later yeah so basically in 2022 you can still use it so the loading is really really slow because this phone is quite old still and it's updating so basically yeah basically it's um, need to wait so i will put a pause and wait for one minute okay now we are back so we have uh, I uh, I have uh, restarted uh, my device again. So now we have languages. So let's choose uh, let's choose a country. So I will choose uh, my country and go back user agreement agree. So connect to Wi-Fi. Basically, I'm connecting right now. Let me enter the password. You don't need to know it actually, but yeah, I will just enter, and uh, we will move on. So connecting connected uh, asking to to log in I, I will skip it for now yeah just skip a fingerprint also skip this one we also don't need so basically get started uh, new design uh, you have security powerful functions 200 new animations so just uh, description uh, asking to install some useless Chinese apps so just keep it so opening our flame and you have settings here so about phone you have Android 7 security update is for February 2018 so it's quite old uh, so basically a fly me 635 so not not the newest one but still really good so let's see how it will work you can show the keyboard so basically there are not that much uh, changes from previous one but you need new Android Android 7 why we need it because some apps like uh, Viber like some operators apps etc they may not update they may not even work with uh, uh, Android 5 now they started to close it as was before with Android 2 with Android 4 so now it's Android 5 time so many apps will stop working in the nearest future so it's <clears throat> it's really good to keep it like this basically we can go through all the settings but still it's the same as before there is no need to go through it right now and uh, they added uh, basically i friendly mode it was not before on previous uh, flyme 6 that they had before still good i think it's more from uh, android 7 feature so let's just check what else we have uh, do not disturb we had uh, wi-fi advanced settings actual notification so yeah nothing special here more wireless display also added i think it was not here on, it doesn't have nfc uh, that should be pointed out so you cannot make payments uh, personalization so it's just regular like uh, to change it for fly and so basically uh, nothing special in this update but still this phone is really good in 2002 even with android 7 you can i really recommend you to update if you have chinese phone if you have a traditional version please don't do it you will not have uh, good results but thank you for watching and see you next time